Hi, I'm Ms. Hearn. Let's get started. In this video, we're going to talk about the actuarial method. In particular, we'll be calculating H using a formula rather than a table. When money is borrowed at a particular annual percentage rate and divided up into regular payments, H tells us the cost of the borrower per $100 financed. is calculated using the APR and the value of N, where N is the total number of payments. H can also be found using tables of values as long as a table with the appropriate APR and number of payments happens to be available. If it's not, we have to use this complicated formula. So you might be wondering how H is used. It's used in a couple of different contexts. For example, it's used when calculating the APR when the APR is not stated. So let's say you borrowed $2,000 and you're told that you have to pay back $2,500 at the end of a certain amount of time but you're not told specifically what annual percentage rate that represents. Another context, and the one that we're going to focus on, is finding the unearned interest, which is the amount of interest which we're entitled to be reimbursed if the loan is paid off early. To calculate the unearned interest using the actuarial method, we're going to use the formula U equals KR times the quantity H over 100 plus H. So here we see that we need the value of H, in order to calculate the unearned interest. K would be the number of payments remaining after payoff, and R would be the regular monthly payment. In the event that a loan is paid off early, the payoff amount is going to be the quantity K plus 1 times R minus the unearned interest U. Here, K is the number of payments remaining after payoff, in other words, after the current payment. Here's an example. A loan was paid in full before its due date, with six payments remaining after payoff. The regular monthly payment was $206, and the APR was 8.4% we're asked to use the actuarial method to find the amount of unearned interest and the payoff amount. Whenever we have to find the payoff amount, there's going to be three steps. First, calculate H. Second, calculate the unearned interest, U. And third, calculate the payoff amount. So let's focus on step one. We're going to calculate H using the formula we discussed before. In the formula for H, the APR will be 8.4%, but in decimal form, so 0.084. Now remember, N represented the total number of payments, and we don't even know the total number of payments, but that's not actually necessary. In this context, N is going to be the total number of payments remaining. Think about it this way. The amount of interest we get returned to us when paying off a loan early is the amount of interest we would have paid had we taken out a new loan on the remaining balance starting on that day of the payoff. So in this case, N is going to be 6, because there are 6 payments remaining after today. The tricky part is plugging this formula into a calculator. There are a variety of ways, and some options are more efficient on certain calculators. I'm going to use the TI-30X2S calculator, which is a, a good calculator for a lot of purposes. You can use it in your algebra classes, your statistics classes, and to calculate unearned interest. So in this case, we're going to start inside the parentheses in the denominator. I like to do the denominator first because it's more complicated. Remember your order of operations. So within those parentheses, we're going to start with the division. Clearing out the calculator, we have 0.084, and we're going to divide that by 12 and hit equals. And we're going to add that value to the 1 and hit equals. Now we have the quantity in the parentheses in the denominator. We need to raise that quantity to the negative sixth power. So I'm going to raise it to the power. Notice that the screen says ANS. That means the answer from the previous calculation. We're going to raise it to the power of negative 6. The negative is actually the minus that's in parentheses, so negative 6. And we're going to hit equals again. This is the value that we want to subtract from 1. So what I'm going to do now, in order to finish calculating the denominator, is I'm going to take advantage of that answer function that this calculator has. This calculator has now memorized this number and saved it as the answer to the previous calculation. So I'm going to just start typing 1 minus, and then I'm going to hit second, and where the negative sign is above that it says answer equals. And now we have the denominator. Now the denominator is saved as the answer. So now I'm going to type in the numerator, 
I'm going to say six times. I'm going to take advantage of my parentheses. It's not really necessary in this case, but just to make sure we maintain um, our order of operations correctly. When I have a fraction, I like to put it in parentheses. So I'm going to say 0 0.084 divided by 12, all in parentheses, times 100. Okay, and I'm not going to hit equals because now I want to take that quantity and divide it by the answer from the previous calculation. So I'm going to say divided by second answer equals. So now this is the value of the entire fraction and we just need to subtract 100 from that. So minus 100 equals and so H is approximately $2.46, rounding to the nearest cent. So we're done with step one. Step two is to calculate the unearned interest, because now we have H, so we can use the formula K times R times H over 100 plus H. Plugging H into the formula, we turn our attention to K, which is the remaining number of payments after the payoff, after the current payment, so that's going to be six and R is the regular monthly payment. So that's going to be $206. So plugging into our calculator, I'm going to go ahead and clear that out. And we're going to start with inside the parentheses. Um, one is you can just, this is a pretty simple addition and it always will be in this formula. So in my head I can see that that's $102.46. So I'm just going to hit 2.46 divided by 102.46 equals. All right, so that's the value in parentheses. It needs to be multiplied by the 206 and the 6 times 206 times 6 equals. So we see that U is approximately 29.68, again rounding to the nearest cent. And that brings us to step three. Step three, we want to calculate the payoff amount. We need to plug in K, which is 6, R, which is 206, and U, which is 29.68. Now be careful plugging this into your calculator. It, it's such an easy formula compared to the other ones, but it's easy to make a mistake. A common error is that folks want to subtract that 206 minus the 29.68, but remember order of operations. So first we're going to work inside the parentheses and do the addition which is going to give us 7. Then we're going to multiply by 206 and then we're going to subtract the 29.68. So here we go. So we're going to have 7 times 206 equals minus 29.68 equals. So we see that our payoff amount is 1000 $412.32. I hope this video was helpful. If it was helpful to you, remember to like the video.